Welcome to Good Mythical More. We are going to experience this interesting dehydrated sauce company's offerings, not a sponsor, and um, we're gonna give uh, an assessment. How are we gonna do that? Well, we're taste. gonna blindly taste them. Taste. We're gonna taste them. But the first, power of taste alone. We're going to donate $1,000 to the Association for the Study of African American Life and History to aid in their mission to promote, research, preserve, interpret, and disseminate information about black life, history, and culture to the global community. Please join us in giving at asalh.org slash donate. Thanks for being your mythical best. So, um, awesome sauce. Apparent, I had not heard of this company until it was handed to me right now. Is the world's, according to their box, First sustainably focused sauce and condiment company. We're leaving the taste in, but taking the plastic and water out. So each one of these is a dehydrated pack of ketchup. And there's two in this one. Add a third cup of water to a shakeable vessel. Add one packet. It's a, it's a big packet. A Shake it sauce. well for 15 seconds. You're ready to get sauced. That's awesome. If this tastes good, interesting. There's a lot of applications: camping, the apocalypse, but also camping during the apocalypse, which is pretty much just living. Sustainability, uh, not having to do the plastic thing, right? And I think it's also much less storage. One of the things that happens in most college refrigerators is the doors of the refrigerator get filled yeah. with condiments. And then it just becomes a condiment sea. You don't know what's right. what, how long it's been in there, it's half eaten, whatever. This is this could be a solution a to that so we're gonna try. So we have fire sauce, we have ketchup, we have honey barbecue. Let's start in like normal territory. Like <laughs> Can ketchup. we start with just the regular or, ketchup? You're gonna, well, we're gonna give you three and two are gonna be, off, I mean, one's gonna be awesome and two are gonna be other things. Are these okay. barbecue sauce gonna, though or ketchup? Put them in the right these order. These are barbecue. Let's just let's do barbecue. That's what they're that's supposed what to be in a certain order. They are. Okay. Okay. They are. And uh and yeah, so you don't know where the powdered one is. Go ahead and taste them. That smells like that's a dark sauce. McDonald's or KC masterpiece. That tastes like it came. That tastes like it came from a bottle. Yeah, I, I couldn't say that. that the, you know why? From bottom. The corn syrup. Oh, he he's getting all corn syrupy on it. This one's thinner. That's bone sucking sauce. This is a really good barbecue sauce. It's got flecks of stuff onions, in it. which is one of the reasons I like it. It's so. It is so good. Um, what do you what do you put that on? Do you put that on those ribs you made? No, I put blues hog on those ribs that I made this weekend. That I almost brought some for you, but then I ate them all. Thanks. It uh, was three you know racks I, of ribs, right? Four. We four racks of ribs, and who was? Uh, yeah, okay. my boys and I. Actually, I think I might have a little bit left. You want some? Yeah, hey. yeah, uh, yes. I used two racks. I did raspberry chipotle barbecue sauce on. That's become from, from Blues Hog, and then the other one I did their championship blend. Blues Hog. Blues Hog. Okay. Now this one, Jeez. based on what you told me. This is the awesome. You can tell by looking at it. Uh, I like what you're trying to do. If I was camping or about to be, if I was being chased by like a Mad Max type yeah. outfit, okay. I might think that was good. Like a guy with like a, a guitar that's a flamethrower. Yeah, if that guy was chasing me, I would eat that barbecue sauce. Is it just thinner? I can't it's, really no, tell. No, it's I'm... it's grainy. It does not Ooh. taste good. That's the thing. It's like, it's grainy. I mean, it packs a punch, but af definitely after eating the other two, it just didn't, it just didn't stand up. But if if it was totally to isolated, me, I would not mind apocalyptically. I would not maybe? mind the consistency. If I liked the flavor. I mean, what the consistency is it, um, not as good as regular sauce. Does the package say like all organic or, or like? Stuff that makes it not taste good? Yeah. No preservatives. Um, There's probably not a lot of sugar. Well, well it, added sugars, six grams. Brown sugar is the number one ingredient. 
So it just doesn't taste good, basically. You were right. The first one is Casey Masterpiece. The second one's actually Jim Beam Maple Bourbon Barbecue Sauce. Well, they're a copy and bone sucking sauce. So you you like that, huh? I like it, too. I might like Those it. Those onions. Man, it tastes just like it. Um, I like barbecue sauce in general. That's a, I could just sit here all day. That is it. a good sauce. Tell me what that is again. Jim Beam Maple Bourbon bourbon barbecue sauce yeah that's got that's yeah that's good. good that's some good stuff going on in there. awesome you didn't you didn't bring it you all right but you know what we got two more tries two more tries i'm i'm sliding these across now as i'm assuming this is the fire sauce mm-hmm. okay i mean if we just compare well it's definitely not the one in the middle it's, well hold on it's either these it's one of these is it hot is it real hot that's definitely the awesome sauce. Um, it's fruity. It has the same like graininess. Yeah. I'll tell you, whoo, it's hot. It is hot though, and it that, is. that helps. That helps. Oh. Because you forget about what it tasted like before it got hot. Shoo me. It um, doesn't, this one doesn't <laughs> taste that bad, but I'm assuming that these are gonna taste better. Listen, but you gotta you gotta innovate. You gotta start somewhere. You got wow. good branding. Yeah, I, I really like the. Um, I like the idea. I like the logo. I like what you're Whoa. trying to do. Is it real hot? What? Is, that's super familiar. <coughs> what is that? Tabasco, dude. That's not Tabasco. Well, you should know. Why are you asking me, Sauce Man? That's not Tabasco. Oh gosh, why is it so hot? I'm about to blow my top, man. Ugh. What's this third one? Your stomach's rumbling. Yeah, because it just the awesome sauce just hit it. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's really getting going. Are you gonna turd yourself? <laughs> Let's find out. Um, this one. That one's. I like that one. This one tastes. That the one tastes best. good. Maybe. I don't like the middle one at all. No, I love the middle one. So to go back so, to what we believe awesome sauce yeah. is. Yeah. It's it's just got a it's got a it's, it's the not flavor profile. Grainy. The graininess is part of it, but I, I just don't that's tough for me. It's a it's a better flavor profile than the last. No. No, it's still uh, not, just not good. Yes. It's better for a hot sauce than the catch than barbecue was for a barbecue sauce. But, but is it still better it's than like the third lacking one? in flavor compared to No, it's to the these worst two. of these three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The middle one is Louisiana hot sauce, wow. and then the other one is Old Bay hot sauce. Man, I, I don't remember Louisiana being that hot. Put it on some fried that chicken. That must be a hot one. Who? The hot. Uh, Who? Again, we, we like what you're doing, Awesome, but you know, you're sometimes when you're when you're on the front lines, you get shot. Hey, listen, awesome, pe- awesome people. We've done this probably too many times in our career where we did something a little bit too early and, and it wasn't very great. Right. It wasn't, it wasn't great. And then we and then we learned learned we learned some lessons, Ugh. you know. But hey, at least we tried. We, at least we were first. To we do, made it. You to can do too. Something. Boy, my no- nose is just trying to run off my face. Where are these folks? Because I feel like we're kind of ripping them a new one. Well, we're being nice about it. Westchester, Pennsylvania. Awesomesauce.co. Cause it, I don't know. Let's let's just try ketchup. So you gotta avoid going to Westchester, Pennsylvania. I, yeah, Virginia. I mean, I'm, we're making enemies. Yeah, making enemies. I think good for two I, months is, after mixing. This is constructive okay. criticism. This is not. We're not making enemies. Mm-hmm. We're pulling for you. We want this to work. No, meow, meow, this is not meow. immediately clear which one is which. Nope. If I had to guess, I'd guess it's the one in the middle, but let's try. It's tangy. Especially after you've eaten hot sauce. You eat ketchup right after hot sauce, boy, that really, tang- it'll tang you up. I think that's just regular hot sauce. It'll tang, you, ketchup? tang you up one while down the other. Thicker, but not grainy. <clears throat> it's very different. Deeper. It's got a darker taste. I like that one better. I definitely like that one. 
but I'm not getting that consistency, the telltale sign of a, um, an awesome. Yeah, but I think it is the awesome one. The one that you really like, I think, is. I think it is, too. Because it's thicker. It works with ketchup. I don't know why it didn't work with barbecue the, sauce. The third one is a really good ketchup. But yeah, just to, just to get a little bit more. I'm gonna have to disagree, kind of a hard disagree with you on this. If I, was, if I was taste testing ketchups and I got to this one in the middle, yeah. I'd be like, that's not a good ketchup. It's better than the first one in my mind, but now that I went to the third one, I'm having I trouble. I think the first one and the third one are pretty solid ketchups. This one's better, this one's probably Heinz. This first one's probably Hunt it's, or like this one's or more like a like a Kroger or something. This one's more vinegary. The first one and this one's awesome. And when I say awesome, you know what I mean. But this is the best y'all have done. It's a little f fruity puree. I'd put that on a burger and maybe people wouldn't notice. Yeah, I, I would. Especially be. if they were being chased by a gang of people who had other people on leashes. So yeah, the middle one is awesome. Yeah. The first one is Heinz, but it's sugar free. Ah, uh, yeah. That's and so then cool. the third one is Whataburger. What? We what like something from Whataburger? Yeah. We have, do we have that packaging? Whataburger. Now we. The best thing about Whataburger is their logo. We've which we, we've actually, ripped so many new ones for Whataburger. This is not the logo I was thinking about. Maybe it'll take some of the it'll take some of the heat off of Awesome. With how much trash we talk about Whataburger and how mad the second largest state in the in the entire United States gets mad at us for it, we just haven't been impressed yet. I'm open to being impressed by Whataburger, and you know what? I was impressed by your ketchup. So there you go. You've and done you, something right today. And and I can hear the comments right now. Well, you don't need to get the burger. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, what'd you get? What did you get? Well, I got the Whataburger. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Mm -hmm. it's um, like that's what we've heard but from Whataburger to, fans. Well, don't, awesome don't get the people. burger. Back to the awesome people. What? I mean, first of all, check this out. Okay, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, you can't do that with every ketchup, see? Yeah, you can. Well, you did with that one. Can you, can you do it with, yeah, you can do it. You, you can, can do, do it with, with every ketchup. You can do it with every ketchup. <laughs> you can do it with every ketchup, but this is by far the best tasting thing that they've got at the awesome company right now, in our opinion. I mean, we're just two guys. We're just two guys on the internet. You know, you got to get it out there. Do a taste test. Yeah, it's really a shame that we're go we're to a college. The, we're the ones like giving an opinion on your product to like a million people, but uh, we are. And um, no, this is a more, not a million people. Yeah, less than that. Yeah, but than that, but yeah. they're but they are very aligned to what we're saying. And I'm just sorry that we're saying that uh, this. You're not ready. You're not <laughs> ready for the big leaves. But I love your I love your mentality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I believe in what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. We, we and, totally um, believe in it. Um, I just think. It's got to taste a little better. Yeah, yeah. Back to the drawing board on the taste part. <laughs> and now I, I'm gonna. This is one of those things where I'm gonna wake up at 2 a.m. and feel like crap for what I just said. I'm sorry, guys. I think you're awesome. Everything, everything <laughs> else is great. The branding, the concept. You're gonna get it right. You're gonna get it right. And we're gonna. We're here for it. Yep. We will invest in. We it. are ready. <laughs> Mal is open. These are not cookies. These are cookies that fell into a Chernobyl, you know, radioactive waste vat. <laughs> they look beautiful. They, they're beautiful. And then like came out and were branded yeah. by Jojo Siwa. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know how to describe it.